Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the old Dropped Frames. We've got DJ Knight here. How's it going, sir? It's been a while. I think like we're December, maybe. It, it's been a while. I for, <laughs> Thanks for having me. I, I think the, I think the last time you were here, we were all blown away by the fact that Vin Diesel, Russell Crowe, uh, and a bunch of other folks are in that arc anime or something like mm -hmm. that, right? Is it yeah, even anime? I don't we were, even know. I thought it was a game. And then they also had an anime because weird reasons, and it just looked way better than any video game I've ever seen. So I'm very concerned whether or not it actually looks like that. So, yeah, all of those things. You know what it really <laughs> is, DJ? I'm going to stick my neck out here. I think these indie game companies just have too much money. I think that's what it is. They just got too much money. <laughs> they're be they're too successful. You know what I'm mm. saying? I, I don't <laughs> no know. comment on I don't that? Know. You know what? <laughs> Well, I mean, uh, I'm DJ's representative. <laughs> and I want to let you know that I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, okay, okay gotcha. <laughs> the, de the definition of indie, like, is so vague. Like, yeah, everybody yeah. has a different definition of it. Like, if you make a game and you're, like, one person, right, you make a game, like, that would that would pretty much be indie. But what if that person was Bill Gates? Right. Like, you know, if they had, like, millions of dollars and they're just like you know what i want to make a video game is it still indie like you know that's <laughs> well it, there's also a, a weird thing too of like in in some ways like you you i'm sure someone could classify the idea that blizzard is like indie even though activision owns them as it, it, it's almost a little gatekeepy uh in terms of like who gets let into the triple a world and who gets to stay indie uh yeah 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 that's a little well, and uh, yeah, even Coe's confused, get... but Coe's always confused. That's just his natural state. No, 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 state not, when not I talk. confused. <laughs> there, there are people that would that would say Blizzard is indie. That the idea of Blizzard yeah, Activision that, that were is... once indie, yeah. Before Blizzard joined Activision, they were indie. It could once be argued become uh, culturally significant to most people on a platform that you probably are no longer indie, right? Like Diablo, yeah. Starcraft, like warcraft world of warcraft i feel like they haven't been indie since world of warcraft craft launched at minimum so then it's game yeah. size that the, no, i think it's, I would, I would say it's, it's probably something to do with the amount of of generated net worth and how much money they're making like there gets there gets to a point where so star you know, citizens indie or no it, it gets to a point where the amount of <laughs> money you're putting into a project i'd say like star citizen is not indie okay the amount of funding that they have, no, they better be, they better be quad A by the time that shit comes out. They better make up a no, new listen, level for that. Just for saying, no, it, I, think it, I think it has to do with the amount of like resources that go into a project um, would probably be the best. The, the amount of resources not only in it, but are capable of being put in it. Yeah, that's I, why like if, yeah. if a small team gets bankrolled and they get as much money to play with as they want, that's not an indie project. You know what I mean? Like that's, I think like, it's one way point, to classify um, it. The, the most used yeah. way to classify it for sure. I still well, feel like uh, indie is like a, if you were publishing on your own, you might fall under indie, right? Like, uh, yeah, here going beyond indie in a way that they are publishing other companies' games, like struggling. They they publish that, so like eh, they were indie when I feel like when they had launched Elite Dangerous, but then once you get like Jurassic World Evolution, uh, Planet Coaster, Planet Zoo, like I feel like the like they started to get more and more games out, but it's weird because. It's not the same as like a EA. Like I, I figure, like the massive publishers well, are definitely the these indie, days. But like I feel like it, it, it's it's the double A, right? Like it's in between like a small indie studio, like the guy who made Stardew Valley, and if that person was given EA money, like massive publisher money to do the same things, like I, I don't know if I would. It's no longer indie, but still medium. It's yeah. indie esque. Yeah. Two things. One, we know that indie means independent, like independent developing. Like, uh, I'm guessing that means no outside funding, or you're not a subsidiary of a of a of a bigger company. Like, um, I don't know. You know, you you know the examples. Like indie, but indie also like has grown, has become beyond like that definition. It's more of a feeling now. It's more of like. How much money did you have to make this? How many people were involved? And then I will yeah. judge 
if that's independent. If that if that counts as indie, I will I will judge that now. Like I, 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 like I was saying, like if some some you know multi multi millionaire like made whoever made like a, a huge title and then like was I don't want to I don't want to be a part of this company anymore. I'm going on my own, but I already have like you know thirty million dollars in the bank, so. I don't think that counts, right? <laughs> I can't count. Well, no, indie, I, right? I think you just nailed it. Like there, there was a, there was a time and, and, and it's just like the word literally where it started somewhere, but then so many people started using it in another way that it just became a different meaning, even though it's the same word kind of in the same stance sometimes. Yeah. But it's a kind of thing where like back in the day, almost, almost all games were made under the umbrella of some larger organization. Like back in the day, Almost everything was that way. And then we started seeing this emergence of, just like you said, independent game developers that didn't fall under those umbrellas. And at the time, it was a much rarer thing. So it became a very kind of focused definition. But then as we've gone throughout time, you know, there's been l- more and more amb- ambiguity between what that means. We've had more and more developers that are that are kind of starting on their own, not even bothering to go under an, um- an umbrella. So it's like, it's these days, it means a different thing. Like, for instance, today... Uh, be, not to get into the games too early, but you know the game out Biomutant. Like it's interesting because you know what we say. What I've been saying about it is Biomutant is kind of like an indie game going for a AAA price, and obviously Biomutant's not indie. I mean, it's published by THQ, the people, the, the studio that made it, it's twenty bucks. But I still use the term indie to describe the type of game it is, and I say that in the terms of it. Like, what was that Biomutant's only twenty bucks? No, it's sixty bucks. It's, it's okay, I think it goes for it. Like, right yeah, no, no, it's, it's a tri- <laughs> that, that's that's the issue. The issue is that it's it's a it's a game that feels like an indie game where it's like not super developed mechanics, has some pretty big issues that need to be addressed, but at the same time they're marketing it like a AAA polished experience. So mm. at the same time, oh, I meant twenty people. I'm sorry, not twenty bucks. Um, oh, so at the same time, it's like that that term indie obviously n- never started as meaning what I meant it as, but now it's being used as a descriptor for like the type of game. So yeah, I think that's, I, I think Zeke kind of hit it on the hill, uh, hit it on the head right there. It what started as a joke about Vin Diesel. And now it's a conversation <laughs> about Indies and triple <laughs> A's and <laughs> no, I, I have this conversation like at, at least once a week. Uh, or, you know, when I do any Sundays, like I look at the game, I look at the publisher, I look at the developer. It's like, it's published by square, but it's developed by a company that has like three people. So like, doesn't, I mean, it, it counts. Yeah, sure. It's like, if you have, uh, if you're in a band and your band has been touring, you know, the fucking upper Midwest and just to like five and 10 people. But then your album gets uh, in the hands of, you know, Interscope or something. And then they were like, we want to sell your album. The album was made independently, but it's being published and sold. Not so. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. And funny, funny enough, in the stuff that Zeke's saying, it's like indie these days has become a buzzword that in many cases has become more attractive to consumers. So... When a, when a big company hears of an indie situation, they do the exact opposite of what the word came from, which is pull them as quick as they can under their giant umbrella to be like, look at the little indie. Yeah. We're helping them. <laughs> and it's like, well, well are you, they... <laughs> you have EA, right? That has like an indie branch. It's like EA. Yeah, exactly. They, they Microsoft renamed indie it. Showcase yeah. For the, yeah. For, yeah. ID and mm-hmm. Xbox, I think is uh, Xbox. Yeah. Right. Xbox. I was going to say, yeah. 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 So it, Yeah. Yeah, all of all of that is correct. Uh, yeah. anyways, I, I like this. Indie is just a buzzword to forgive our bugs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm sure some there's ways. some indie devs that would take uh, offense to that a little bit, but well, and even uh, just Please real quick, indie, but also ignore our bugs. Thank you. <laughs> That's all I hear. Even right now. like playing the game, sometimes it's like I have to be told, like, man, this does not seem. It seems like this game had a big budget mm. and then i have to be told by some people the honest like it's an asset like there's a lot of assets that they just they just kind of bought or whatever however however that works it's like it's an asset flip that's why it looks good because these things are available for people uh it, developers to you know use in their game and stuff if, for a price right right yeah anywho dj how you been 
<laughs> How is everything? <laughs> Luckily, busy. Like that's a that's good. It's a good way to be, right? Like just yeah. have been having a lot of uh, cool things happening. Like uh, I've been co-hosting the Dungeons and Dragons Dark Alliance uh, Road to Launch streams, talking about that game, and uh, I've been in. I'm currently in two tabletop RPGs now. Uh, I was nice. in Motherland last time I was here, but now uh, we started another one called Black Dice Society, which is an official D and D uh game and it's also focused on Ravenloft, which is all about the horror and scary stuff, which I'm a fan of. But uh it's just it's been busy, which is it's it feels good to say as somebody who plays video games for a living, right? So sure. Um, I've been well. How about yourselves? I think we've been good. Are you doing tabletops on your on your channel? Like the the tabletop stuff? Are you doing it like hosting it or excuse me, on your stream? No, uh, actually, the the one is uh, Into the Motherlands, which uh, actually they started their Kickstarter last they did. week, and I think we were almost at like two hundred thousand. If we haven't already broken that, which is stoked, like I'm stoked about it because it was like fifty thousand was the goal. Uh, that is over on Cipher of Tears channel, and it is a universe that she created. It's used, currently using Cortex as the scheme, and the it's the Kickstarter for the like the settings book, so you can see what's going on in the world of the motherlands and on the black dice society game i'm playing on which i play a werewolf which i like in, which i'm a fan of you know <laughs> uh, so that one is actually on the official dnd channels like twitch.tv slash dnd over on the dnd wizards youtube oh. so it's uh it's pretty awesome like that it's i think i think it's actually wizards dnd because i always get it backwards nope dnd wizards okay cool but uh, that's actually an official uh dnd broadcast which is pretty exciting because I'm a fan of D and D. I'm a fan of magic. Like all of them, give me all the joys. You know what I mean, that's awesome. Yeah, man. Busy is a good way to be. How come, how come we been? We've been friends for a long time, man. How come we've never role played together, dude? We how have. Come we've never RP. We so, have. Uh oh. Star Trek. Oh my God, that's right. Yeah. We did. Oh Kyle, my this God, just yes. got awkward. Kyle, totally, you want to go get a totally drink? Remember that Kyle, now. You want to join me? Yeah. Oh we'll, shit, we'll, that's we'll, right. We did Star Trek together. together. How many years ago was that? That, that was, was years ago, but you, everybody yeah. in chat right now, just Shit, saw that's right. I, forget. I was the captain. You were a Vulcan. <laughs> yes, I remember I that human absolutely Vulcan. now. Yeah. 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 You remember now. See, Dude. I'm hurt now. I like how you were like, no, I feel, have uh, listen, so no. many. We've never RP'd. And there are little I'm, YouTube videos right now of us being, like, of us RP'ing right now. Like, I'm going to Google it right now. Just. You're making me feel bad, man, and I should, and I'm sorry. Shame on me. And uh, you know, it'll DJ, never, it'll never I, happen I, again I, until I the next time it happens. Day generation, there it is. My bus, mm -hmm. Pumpkin Berry, Diffy, yeah, DJ, Dave. So many sweet as, people. As a fellow man. individual who also at times can be very forgettable, I empathize with you. I sometimes people just don't remember us, and we take <sighs> offense to it. But at the same time, we just have to remember it's Zeke. So, I'm I mean, putting, he doesn't remember what happened putting, yesterday. I'm putting this in all of our chats just so that okay. people can see how Zeke. Well, the new Arcadum the... show, like, I'm looking forward to because it'll be the first time I I get to RP with Co too. That's it'll very true. Yep. I'm looking forward to that. It should be a great first time. <laughs> dude, I totally forgot about Star Trek. I'm so sorry, no. dude. <laughs> no. I feel I bad. I feel so horrible now. People are like, hey, DJ, what games have you RP'd? I was like, I've been in, like, I've been D&D, I've done some Star Trek stuff. It was awesome. And then every time like, I get to showcase yep. that. And then you're just like, ah, I've never RP with DJ. This guy's. <laughs> this guy's the, only, the only, hey, the only, okay. <laughs> the only way I'll get Zeke's back here is Zeke does a lot of D&D. Like a no, lot. Do a lot like, I, don't, I don't know if I know anyone else on Twitch that's no. just been in so many different shows. So uh, see, that's, that I, nice I will thing. say, I would, I would probably have trouble remembering too what I was on at that point. I'm, you know what? I'm going to give you applause because that was the perfect <laughs> keep him out. Well, Wait, done. We, we don't have budget. We're, this is an indie show. We don't have budget for that, DJ Knight. We, you got to, I'm not paying for those royalties. That's on you. Mm -hmm. All right. That's on you. <laughs> I feel like I'm like, that was like a rom com thing. It's like, hey, have we met? We slept together a month ago. <laughs> oh, <laughs> right. That's right. <laughs> All that was fun. a thing. I forgot All that. Fun. My bad. Well, we're off to a great start here on uh, Drop Frames, alienating our mm -hmm. guests. Let's move on to the news. Uh, <laughs> talking a little bit. Oh, 
I'm good. I'm just giving the, all the because it's been a good while. Yeah, so are we? Yeah, that, no, that's the show. That's drop frames calling. You know, that, yeah, I'm giving that. Yeah, pretty much what we do every week. That's how it goes. That's how it goes. Uh, mm-hmm. Light on the gaming news. We are two weeks out from E3. Uh, there's a ton of like tomorrow. I think there's now four. There's a there's a what is there? There's a Sonic stream tomorrow where they're announcing something for the 30th anniversary of Sonic. There's a there's like two other big streams that I'm just absolutely blanking on tomorrow. Uh, Horizon that's happening, I think, tomorrow at like 5 p.m. Eastern. Uh, Far Cry is on Friday. There's Dying Light 2 tomorrow that's happening at like 2 p.m. Eastern. So there's a bunch of shit going on. Uh, it's all yep. just unfortunately uh, tomorrow. And then, of course, E3 is happening. Uh, the beginning of E3 with uh, Keeley's thing is around like the 10th of June. So kind of in this vacuum right now but there's some stuff to talk about uh we also have some more news on uh, the twitch front um last week we spent a decent amount of time talking about the uh the amaranth situation and uh we didn't spend too much time talking about hot tub streams in general uh but luckily twitch put out a post on friday and so we can talk about it now at least what they're doing i don't know if we need to give our spiels about uh hot tub streams but essentially uh th- there's just some funny statements in here Funny to me because of the idea that a lawyer was very present in this entire article they posted and deemed these words as the best way to go. Uh, So we'll just jump right in and read this blog post uh, verbatim here. Uh, Second, while we have guidelines about sexually suggestive content, being found to be sexy by others is not against our rules. And Twitch will not take enforcement against action or action against uh, women or anyone on our service for their perceived attractiveness. What I, what a state, what a, what a service this Twitch, this whole Twitch I love that that's site. bolded too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. I don't, <laughs> I don't know if you guys want to weigh it on. For some reason, I imagine though. them yelling that. So it's like, Secondly, while we have guidelines about sexually suggestive content, being found to be sexy <laughs> by others is not against our rules. That's how I read it. Yeah, I yeah. read it as a British person screaming it for some reason. Yeah, yeah. Um, essentially, this whole kind of blog post uh, <laughs> goes down to uh, what's next. And it was the idea that uh, they introduced a brand new category that went live uh, later that day. Pools, hot tub... Hot tubs, sorry, there could be multiple hot tubs in here, uh, and beaches. Uh, and then this is, of course, all for the contextual exception of uh, the attire shown in any of these places, etc. So now you can go and find that category and find all the pools, hot tubs, and beaches that you want to watch. Uh, all in all, I think this is like the best neutral ground uh, that Twitch like kind of slid in like, it's, it's the one spot for now where they're not going to ruffle too many feathers on any of the sides of the conversation uh, and can just, you know, just exist for a while. Um, advertisers are happy because there's potential. I don't know if it, they say it or if there's a potential for it where they just won't advertise in that category or if you're streaming to that category. Um, I don't remember if they said that explicitly, but yeah, it seems like everyone's happy uh, around that. What, what do you guys think? Co's reading his chat and smiling, so nothing's new there. Co, oh, what's your chat I, say? Well, <laughs> I, no, it's, I, it's, it's, I think the situation is ridiculous. I think that it's, it's very much a double standard. Um, I think that it's, it's, it's absolutely ridiculous that uh, somebody can get into a hot tub and, be, and, and do a bunch of very sexually suggestive things that would not be okay if they weren't in an inflatable tub in their, in their room. Um, I think I think that the whole thing is kind of a sham, honestly, and that that type of content doesn't belong on Twitch and that they should actually take a stand for it instead of dancing around the issue, trying to please as many people as possible and really, at the end of the day, not make any of them happy. I think most people were happy for the most, like... <laughs> most of the people I've talked to think this whole situation is ridiculous and that Twitch probably took one of the easiest way outs they could have to keep making as much money as they can and not ruffle as many feathers. I would say that I would agree with the whole situation is ridiculous. I would I would agree with that part of that statement <laughs> for sure. <laughs> it's it's a little uh, 
this whole the fact I that think that if the advertisers hadn't said anything, they wouldn't have even made that post, which is makes the whole situation even more ridiculous. I think if it wasn't for advertisers actually like threatening to pull out that that nothing would have happened and they would have just kept cruising along like they were. Was that ever verified that that actually happened or are we assuming they, that? They talk <laughs> about stuff in here. They talk about the the ad stuff and how and actually I, I think it was either this post or the one before it and this is where I actually gave the the like I I responded to to the the post um where I was like there is some good stuff in there because they did specifically say like we did something about advertising and didn't tell a partner and we need to be better about doing that and and stuff of that nature so by by admitting that they need to be better about it we can relatively infer that that's exactly what happened that, that an advertiser of some degree stepped in and said I don't want because we we can now also like again inferring because we're never going to get this information. We can infer the channel was Amaranth because she was the one public about the fact that she lost her advertising. We can infer that an advertiser pulled out. So at that point, a major advertiser came to Twitch and said, we don't want our ads run on her channel while she's doing that. And then that forced Twitch's hand to do something about it. So they did all of this so they could go back to the advertiser and say, no, keep paying us money. Look, she's in a category. And as long as she's in here, <laughs> you won't have to worry about your stuff being on it. And it's just like, it, it really is unfortunate after all of the stuff that was happening and all of the huge PR about this issue that it, it came down to that, that being the impetus to make the change. Um, and even then the change is just like, so they can basically keep the content on without, with, while keeping their advertisers happy. Um, so yeah, it's just a well, really unfortunate situation. You guys might not be old enough to remember this, but I certainly am. Um, and I'm talking to the audience, maybe some of you on the show, but. <laughs> Um, when you went to rent VHS tapes from, uh, before, like if you, if you didn't have a blockbuster close, there was, you know, a little mom and pop rental places. And then they'd have the bead curtain rental place that you right. would go. That's, I think that's what they're doing. It's like hot tubs, beaches. This is a bead curtain. <laughs> like this is uh that's, that's, exactly that's right. where you yeah. go. And I, what I, what I think needs to happen though, is there needs to be like like pretty fucking strict enforcement as to like you cannot stream an IRL or your stream will be taken down if you're doing this um hot tub stuff. And that's or, what they the said thing, they were going to do, but I don't the know if they actually so. thing is this is this situational stuff because there was a streamer that was basically doing exactly what you would do in a hot tub except she was just like on her bed or something and she got suspended for it. And it's like how can you possibly say that you can't do that? Just because you went to Walmart and bought a $5 tub and filled it with lukewarm water that's probably going to sit there for days, and now it's okay to do all that? Like, right. like who, who takes this seriously? It's a ridiculous situation. If you don't want that type of content on your platform, make rules to keep it off your platform. End of story. If you don't want that sexualized content on your platform, take it off your platform. Mixer came up with the whole thing, like you wear this. If your skin is showing off of this, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna shut you down. If you're doing this type of action, we're gonna shut you down. I mean, what was it? Ludwig uh, pulled out a thing where Amaranth was uh, was cleaning off the names of her big banana that she had written on it, and she was sitting there doing this, you know, and she's wiping all the names off and obviously like bouncing around doing her thing. And then Ludwig was in her chat yelling at her like, "Hurry up! What are you doing? Hurry up!" <laughs> and then you know she's sitting there slowly wiping them off, bouncing around, doing her thing. And then by the time she's almost done. She takes the banana out and pulls in a new banana that was already clean. It's like, so you just spent all that time jiggling around on your stream. And now you're going to say, of course, that's not sexually suggestive. And it's like, like what, what, what? It, it's like, we're in bizarro world, JP. We're in bizarro world. That's what's going on here. We're in some crazy backwards world where it's like the, the, like the obvious has become completely obscured. And it's just, it, the whole thing is just ridiculous. Oh, it's a pickle. I sorry, it was a pickle. It was, sorry. It was pickle, pickle, Rick. Yes. That changes was. things. I'm sorry. Yeah, it was pickle. And again, I, I, just wanted, record, I want to point this I, out. I, I, I want to point this out. I just want to sprinkle this in. Nothing bad about Amaranth. She can do whatever she wants, more power to her, and the more success she has doing what she wants, that's fine. I'm just talking about what belongs on the platform. Um, I'm an old school guy that came from when Twitch was about gaming. So to see like it get to this point is just like, it's mind blowing. It's like, what is going on here? um yeah it's wild. I understand that. wild and uh i feel like i probably won't be adding much to the conversation in in respect to the pools and hot tubs or whatever because if they are not going to have advertisers doing it at least there's a category that they know to completely ignore 
And I feel like there's got to be some sort of benefit to the platform because this is a, like, there is still like a difference heavily in my opinion between Twitch, what Twitch allows and what YouTube allows because we are over here on Twitch and so many people are complaining about pools and hot tubs when YouTube has naked yoga. Like it right. exists and I'm not joking. I just wanted to verify to make sure that I wasn't crazy. So I just like, hey, is this still a thing? Yeah, yeah, it is. And um, there's sorry, still, have a, in my opinion, there's a channel a, that you no, I don't. We're going to need some no, evidence for Zeke. I won't yeah. follow up on this. Yeah. I am pleading. Just want to verify your statements here, sir. I'm not in that part specifically. If you want to go and look up a thing, have at it. That's your. That's on you. But just like, I feel like this does kind of benefit Twitch, right? Like, look, you want to be in a hot tub on your stream, have at it. Uh, they people can be in bikinis. I feel like with as much issue as women and people who have cleavage have had with people saying like you shouldn't be on Twitch because you have cleavage, and it's like they can't control that. Right, like this is a dedicated section of Twitch where somebody is at a beach and they want to be in a hot tub and they're still wearing clothes. They can be there. Like, yes, I understand where you're coming from when you say that Twitch was a platform that was all about gaming. There are way more channels in gaming now, so there's got to be. Uh, I feel like this is the balance. Yeah, if sports has a channel. If talk shows has a channel. If music has a channel. If cooking has channels. That's Twitch trying to open up to a larger audience, but they still do have those limits because you can't be nude in a hot tub on Twitch. So I don't imagine there's, I don't imagine we're going to have the nude yoga situation on Twitch anytime soon. So for me, it's like, it's, do we want to spend our energy upset about it when Twitch has taken action? In my opinion, that to me is kind of what the most of people have been wanting, like do something about it. They did something about it. It may not be what everybody wants, but Twitch is more than just gaming now. There's are, there are ridiculous amounts of categories and it seems like they're doing as much as they can to make sure that they can please a wide audience of people without getting away with nude yoga. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> right, right, yeah. Yeah, that I remember when uh, Twitch first uh, was going to cover, um, I think it was South by. Or something like that. Might have been Ultra. I, I think there was Ultra. That's what yeah, it was. There was it a was big Ultra. music festival that people got yep. lost their shit over. Yep. First time they did that, I I was I was in that boat. I was like, Twitch is about gaming. Why are we? Why are we going to a fucking music event? Mm-hmm. And then like it got like more and more diverse and more and more shit. So like, listen, my standpoint is this. If you can show it on cable TV, I'm cool with it. That's all I care about. Like, it, like cable well, TV guidelines, meaning like he means American no nipples, cable no penetration. TV, yeah, like American cable. Yeah. Like, yeah, the <laughs> standards and practices of the U.S. Sense, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I know, You're I know, there are certain different. outliers that you can like, but you get what I mean, right? Maybe network, not even cable, network TV. Yeah, like if you can show it on ABC, CBS, or NBC something like that, then I think it's fine. Language notwithstanding, of course. But, uh, yeah. It's 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 weird to, to think about people sitting there like, like, how do you get hired for that job? Like, your job is to go through these streams and see if they're too sexually, you know, charged. But you're going to sit in a room. Well, that's you're the gonna problem. look at this shit all day. Can you handle it? That's the problem. I mean, there's I think four of I'll us, manage. and we all look at them in very different ways, right? So, like, how do you do that for yeah. literally millions of people on the platform? Uh, that that is the very core essence of the issue to begin with. Yeah. Uh, ra- random question: How does YouTube allow the? Uh, as someone who's only heard about that, I've never looked into it. Is it is it viewed as educational, and so that's how they skirt the? The issue of the nude yoga stuff on the platform. I don't know. Yeah, because I I guess that's the only thing that I could see. Is there has how they to be something that. there. That yeah. Yeah, that's it's very it's very educational. Says one person in my chat. Great, <laughs> thank you. Yeah, it's marked as educational content. Okay, all right. I feel like I've seen multiple people talking about one of the things that is kind of the most crucial part of this conversation. 
we are talking like the discussion is around hot tub streams and whether or not hot tub streams should be allowed, but like they wouldn't exist if people wouldn't watch them. So mm. in my opinion, it's considering just chatting is one of the regular uh, largest categories on Twitch. If you go into the browse and still is only second to sports right now, like literally right now, uh, that's in a lot of people saying, like, Oh, they haven't solved it, but like that they've solved at least one issue of people going to just chatting to hear conversation and they don't have to see a bunch of people in hot tubs if they don't want to. So, so if people weren't watching, it wouldn't matter. And you got to be 13 year olds to be on Twitch anyways. I'm just saying, like, don't. Just out of curiosity, would that don't, same don't, argument don't apply? It. Would they put, if, if, if Twitch had a stream of hardcore pornography and a lot of people watched it, would your argument still apply? Hell no, because Twitch has rules specifically against not allowing such a thing. This is from Twitch's huh. TOS directly. Explicitly prohibited are content or camera focus on breasts, buttocks, or pelvic regions, including poses that deliberately highlight these elements. Which is the majority of a hot tub stream. So, like, because a lot of people watch it, does that mean, like, we should just kind of say it's okay then? I feel like the obvious answer is obvious. You don't put hardcore porn on a platform that well, yeah. a 13 year old <laughs> can be well, on. Well, right? the, like, the line, the, like, the, the line you know, that I'm just I like, I'm interested in exploring is like when, when things kind of like overtly, there's lots of things people would want to watch that would go on the platform. And you're absolutely right. One of the reasons we're to this point is because hot tub streams were so successful and Twitch was very cautious about just turning those off because they didn't have a black and white. They're acting like they don't have a black and white reason for it. So it's the kind of thing where it's, it's when we have a situation where the line is even gray, let alone black or white. Like I'm in the boat where I'd love to see Twitch proactively, like come out and, and make it black and white instead of adding to the noise of keeping it gray which is what I feel like they're kind of doing right now is they're, they're purposefully keeping this gray when they're the only ones holding the key to actually closing the door on the issue and locking it. Like they, they seem to be instead of, instead of standing up and saying something about it, they're just throwing out little things to keep the discussion going so they can kind of keep this area so nebulous. Does that make sense? It makes perfect sense, but I feel like there's two things that kind of go along with that. One I also have seen a bunch of people saying like it wasn't like they didn't know it was a thing until people started talking about it, which talking about it just makes it bigger. Right. And yeah. two, I've been in a hot tub. I've been to beaches. Kids are at beaches on the all the time. Kids are not in a situation to just watch hardcore. So I don't know. Like to me, it is not that big a deal. And I'm a firm believer in if you have an issue with the thing, don't engage with the thing so i just haven't really cared like it exists well, and it, it, it is, doesn't bother me personally like nobody's stealing okay. my viewers so I, I, my overall on the whole concept is it doesn't really bother me because i'm not going to watch it so i don't know it's it, if, if, if this was not a conversation on drop frames i wouldn't even be talking about it at all because that's how these things get even bigger, right? Like every time we, there's an issue, if Twitch does a thing, then people are enraged because Twitch didn't explain the reason that they did the thing. Uh, if Twitch doesn't do anything, every every post that Twitch makes on social media is gonna have a thousand people underneath it saying like, yeah, but Twitch isn't doing a thing. So it's, it's a situation that I don't know enough about. And for me, I don't watch it, so I can't, for lack of a better way to say it, I can't care. I don't, I, it doesn't bug me any if somebody wants to stream in a bikini in a hot tub that has nothing to do with me. So I'm not going to go hunt those streams down. So, it, and, and people are saying, like, what a 13 year old watch that? Like, that's up to their parents. That's a parent, that's but a parental thing. So, like, I don't know. Like, the more important thing is what if a 13 year old, because you have to be 13 years old to stream on Twitter. 
Like, what if they get the idea to okay. do it themselves? Interesting right? thing. There's Those... actually stuff in the TOS that prohibits a okay. certain amount of skin on anyone under 18. So I know that's okay. been a big argument. I didn't know that. And, and I actually thought that for a long time too. But if a 13 year old tried to get in a bikini and stream from a hot tub, Twitch would shut that stream down. It doesn't matter what they're doing because they have okay. they have laws about being a certain age and doing that. So okay, good. <laughs> so we don't have to worry about that. And okay. it's it's interesting, DJ, because I see exactly where you're coming from. And I think for my mental health, I wish I was there too. Um, the problem the problem with me is like I I. I see Twitch as a long-term brand. Like I, I want, I want Twitch to be, I, I, I care about the platform and how the public perceives it because, you know, I want to be on this platform for 30 years. I want to be proud of being on this platform for 30 years and, and, and even longer, you know? And it's like, for me, when I see that kind of stuff happen, where like, we're like the TOS is, is, is skirted and, and so gray and Twitch doesn't do anything. I don't know why, but I feel like I do need to like say something about it and be loud about it and be like, do something here, Twitch. Like, like it, it, it's as bad as this sounds. I was listening today from like one of those like crazy talk shows. We're like, this is my America and I'm going to stand up and make it my America, you know? And it's kind of funny because even though I completely disagree with that guy, I do feel sometimes where it's like, this is our Twitch, you know, like this is, this is where we want to, this is where many of us spend like 10 hours of our day. Like I want to keep this place. As, and the only reason I, I get mad and yell about this stuff is because like I want them to be on the straight and narrow. I want them to be making decisions that I think are good for this platform and good for longevity and not angering tons of people and more importantly, advertisers, you know, because it's like we're all in the same boat if advertisers start actually coming together and being like, you know what? Maybe this Twitch place is a little too gray for us. Maybe our money's better spent elsewhere where they're not going to be so nebulous about this stuff. And you know, we already have this big issue. And, you know, like it's th this is stuff that I feel like could could happen it could really happen um because this place is magical and it's beautiful and i and i don't want to see that kind of just wishy-washiness like lead to something that could that could hurt everybody including you not like doing your own thing because like all of a sudden we're you know just doing our own thing and without even knowing it all of a sudden a bunch of our our ad revenue starts going down because stuff that's not even involved with us is happening and it's like yeah it's scary man it's scary but do wish I could just not think about it because it makes it like so much easier for me. It is easy. Like I have one rule of life that I try to stick by when it comes to, uh, if I want to change, like if it, if it makes that much of a difference to me, my goal is to be the change that I want to see. That that's, that's it. That's like if, if I answer. don't like the idea of a hot tub stream or a just chatting stream, I just won't, involve myself with hot tub or just chatting streams to me that is the start and as long as for me for my personal like creed as long as i'm backing myself up by not doing the thing i'm making my voice heard by not engaging with it right like it's doesn't matter to me i don't care twitch has come out with public statements saying like hey look these are the rules like not nude yoga, so I, again, I don't really. <laughs> that's the bar. Oh. Nude <laughs> for me, it's not even okay, that's you know the what? bar. It's just like, if, I know, like, I get what you're saying. Like, I was just thinking. had an issue where there was an apocalypse ages ago. Twitch has an apocalypse <laughs> right. every three months because something comes out that people don't like. And it's like, I've never created a platform that has become as massive or life changing for so many people as Twitch has. Every decision they make. Just like every decision YouTube makes, just like every decision any corporation makes that a lot of people pay attention to, every decision they make is going to affect someone in a way that somebody's upset about it, or somebody's not happy about it, or somebody's not happy about it, and then, or somebody's happy about it. And I feel like just there's so much reaching right now that it's happening. Like, yeah, but what happens if it's hardcore porn? Twitch has TOS rules about it, and anytime it ever happens, it gets shut down because that's blatant in the TOS. So, They've figured a thing that they wanted to do with this. And in my opinion, if they've decided it and I'm still doing what I need to do as a creator, if I'm still on Twitch and I'm still working toward doing what I need to do to make the change I want to see, if everybody else did that and didn't engage with it, because think about the amount of people that just because this conversation is happening that are hunting it down and lurking in chats and 
because this is such a widely seen show. So how many people are going to go into uh, somebody's hot tub stream and say things that none of us would support them saying? And I'm not saying that's the whole community, but I'm saying like that's just like the phrase, all advertising is good advertising. We're talking about it, making it an advertising. Somebody's going to go check it out. Somebody's going to say something stupid in the chat and it's not going to be acceptable. And if we weren't having this conversation, the people that might be coming to look at this wouldn't be over there doing that. So I don't know, like it's, don't start no, won't be none. We need to bring up. It's a phrase that I grew up living with. Like, don't start no, won't be none. If you don't, if you don't engage with it, you're doing your part and not showcasing it. And to me, that is one thing. That is the goal. one thing that I've been trying to get to. I've been dancing around the subject the entire time. I've been trying to attack it from different angles, but there's really only one thing that this all comes down to that I think is really important. Um, DJ, how are we going to get you in a hot tub? It's true. I have a hot tub. I'm not going to. No, I mean on stream. I mean, <laughs> I want that shirt off and everything. How, how do we make this happen? Not happening. <laughs> not happening. You can dance around it all you that, like. I tried. I'm sorry. Not I tried. Like, like not what? Twenty minutes now. It. I've been working on this. I'm sorry. I did everything I could. Damn it! That was the whole reason Thanks, for the segment. Unfortunately, <laughs> will not I tried. Hot tub on any stream. Thank you for trying, and thank you for your participation in this conversation. You are awesome. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> we tried no it's interesting i i i i find like we're we're it's it's i think we're like in 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 similar boats but kind of like on opposite sides of the how to how to go after it um but i i definitely see where you're coming from with that and uh and and you know definitely has its merits for sure i i i see where you're coming from absolutely yeah and i i think you know this very conversation, There's no right way to do this that's for sure well no th this very conversation is one that i've seen echoed across a billion different social media platforms, reddits, whatever. Um, so I, I think it will continue until, uh, you know, the, 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 the person, the company at the center of a Twitch decides to do something then the conversation will follow that. Uh, so we'll see what happens. Uh, they, they say in that very article, uh, let me read the exact statement. They say this is not intended to be our long-term solution to improve brand targeting capabilities and increase personalization in our recommendations. So, in a way of saying things, that's not the end-all be-all. It's currently where they're going to exist. We'll see if that actually holds any, no pun intended, water. Uh <laughs> no, so, someone in my <laughs> channel had a good suggestion. <laughs> Lizbeth uh, says uh, maybe we do a, uh, a drop tubs. We all just get into the same hot tub and do a show from a tub all together. Come on. We should Guys. do a we should do drop tubs on hot tub streaming on Twitch. <laughs> and all wear wetsuits. <laughs> wear wetsuits. Snorkel That's like a whole nine yards. Like with the snorkel coming out and everything. I think uh one of the con what's uh not OTK. One of the content groups already did that goof. So I, I feel like we're behind the, yeah. yeah. I feel like we're behind the curves. Uh, Pokemans group. Jesus, I'm just blanking. Whatever. It's Pokemans group. <laughs> OTV. There you go. <laughs> uh, well, if yeah. it were up to me, it would be just, just straight up plain language. No nips, pubes, <laughs> shaft, or badge, or or butt cheeks. And that's why Zeke's not no, a PR. None of those right exposed. There. That's Anything why Zeke will fine. never have a PR position on anywhere. Uh, with so much easy, you can do whatever you want as long as you don't show any of those areas. That's it. <laughs> oh, Jesus! <laughs> oh, Jesus! Uh, moving along, uh, with Twitch news, uh, on the this blog went live this morning. Uh, they also have a separate uh, help article about the 350 plus new tags that just went live. Uh, I can kind of scan through oh, yeah. or, or show all the tags on stream. Ooh, I'm looking forward to seeing this post. If you go to the tags, take have off. Been looking for tags. Yeah, yeah. Take off the uh, the filter for because you can you can filter them down. Um, whoops, not that. But there's a filter for uh, 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 not auto. Maybe it's auto. The yeah, auto, auto or automatic or category. One of them is just is all League of Legends like things. It's like. It's oh, I actually oh, counted I them. 128 League of Legend tags, depending on who you're maining, 
what you're doing in the game, that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah, like right here, champion. Wait, wait, wait. A trust. Oh, this yeah. thing they go. added auto, A for auto. tags, and a oh. hundred and a third of them are League of Legend tags. There's a lot. I already found two ch- two of them that I'm just gonna have forever enabled in my stream. Which ones are those? See, there's a veteran tag, which is awesome. Oh, that's awesome. Former oh, Air Force yeah. Security Forces right here, so I'm definitely gonna have that veteran tag on all of my streams. And uh, there's a black tag. I'm down for that. If that introduces trolls, I don't care because the ban button is heavy. And I did want to ask you about that. Uh, uh, there's also an African American tag. I'm gonna add both because I'm um, both. Okay. Like the, the I, I never really cared about the terminology. I feel like African American is a way of saying black, but I feel like at least there's the acknowledgement of like, yes, you're American, right? Like, I never liked African American because like. <laughs> Ever since I found out Dave Matthews is or, or Charlize Theron from Africa, I'm like, they're African American too. I don't like that. I'm just say black forever I mean, more. <laughs> but that's that's the thing though. Like, like they they are legitimately African American. So to me, that's not a problem. It's yeah. just that I am descendant of Africans who were brought to America, and there, there's no escaping that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. who are literally from Africa that have citizenship in America are also African American. I can understand where you're coming from cuz like it's it became a thing in like the 90s or like the 80s where they were just like, yeah, let's African American. That's another that's yep. a nice way to say it. The PC I feel like it's, roundabout. I've I've just always been used to hearing the word black because it's easy and it's quick. I think is the there thing a black that I've always dis- Is there a what? Is there a black tag? Yes, they just is added it with the, with the list. Yeah, yes. yeah, it's on the list. Uh, for me, yep. the thing is always the the only frustrating thing has always been blacks, like putting the s on the end. It's like, mm, nah, that's that to me was where I drew the line because I am black, I am African American, I can agree with that. But like blacks, like, mm, stop that. Yeah, because like, <laughs> uh, I am. It's, a it's, it's, it's so like if, it's if you're going to describe how, like, one letter people, adds you so much like, power, you know. It does. Like if you're going to describe a group of people, at least say black people, right? Like, like yeah. I can accept that. But like blacks, like, mm, no. I don't like when anybody says that. Just like, I don't like if anybody describes an ethnic group with an S on the end. It's like, eh, yeah, no. don't do it. There is a, a lot of uh, tags as it pertains to, I've seen Global Offensive, New World, Borderlands 3. Uh, I mean, there's six Borderlands 3 ones here. Uh, I've seen a ton of uh, oh. New World stuff. Uh, in reference to that, JP, yes, uh, those, are, those ones labeled with an A are automatic tags. And they are, it says, oh. automatic tags are automatically applied to streams when certain conditions are met. They cannot be applied directly by creators to their streams. Gotcha. Okay, that's a good distinction. Yeah. Great. Yeah. I have to admit, like, there, there's, two, there's two aspects of this tag thing that really surprised me. First of all, and, I, and not a lot of people know this. Uh, so this is one of the things that, that I was kind of like, I, I was spreading around a bit. A lot of these tags, especially the ones that are causing more controversy, like the the race tags, uh, the mental health tags, the, um, the sexuality tags, these are tags that in many cases have been asked for by those communities for actual years. Yeah. Like since yeah. the second the tag system was created, the people who are of those actual groups have been in many cases begging your monthly. There's even petitions that have gone up. For them to add these tags in so they can use these tags for, for their own use. And the other thing that's been so wild to me is to see this very vocal, very vocal aspect of, of the, the general Twitch community that has come out and being like, putting these tags in is racist. <laughs> Hold on. Like, uh- you are encouraging racism by putting these tags in and letting people categorize themselves. <sighs> And yeah. the thing that's so incredible to me is it's like, I, 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 I see, I see where a lot of times in many different facets of today's society, whenever the concept of race comes up and, and a person labeling their race, then immediately people cry racism because you're separating things and you're labeling people and stuff like this. But the thing that's so wild to me is it's like two things. One, if the people of these races want to find other people to watch and they're comfortable watching that is is that is it racist for somebody to say like hey i'd I'd like to find more creators like me 
Is that is that racist of them to say that and want to watch them and see how they're succeeding and, and, and be in their communities? Nope. Of course it's not. So it's like, what what why is it bad that Twitch is now facilitating that? Same with sexuality, same with mental health. If somebody is like, I have Tourette's syndrome, I feel isolated because nobody in my life has Tourette's. And I want to go to a community where people not only understand it, but maybe I can watch a creator with Tourette's and I can become a part of this community and I can I can I can join it and see what it's like. Like that's a that's a great thing. And the thing that's so wild to me is the people that seem to be loudest about this are the people that would never use these tags anyway. White it's people. like like I keep seeing you left out what? white people. You didn't say white people. I feel people. like it's not that's, I, I, I mean, any people are saying Those white are the people, people that are upset. Is, white people. I, I, yeah, that's, that's actually I not my name. Uh, but <laughs> adolescents <laughs> who don't have someone paying attention to what they do. Like like, who cares? It's just Man, it's so, it's so like, wild to me that, 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 that they feel describes them and people are upset about that. That sounds like a them issue. Like if if I was talking exactly. directly to yes. someone who says like that's the black nice tag is the racist, thing like that sounds like a you issue because yes. I will happily use the black tag and African American tag and veteran tag because I am all three of those things. Exactly. You let someone say people you I don't like the fact them. that they get to look for specific things. It's like that's not your decision. Twitch decided otherwise. So if you don't like it, yeah, it sucks to be you in that case. Like deal with it. It's 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 not a it is a non issue that people are making an issue with their anger. So what's the point? And again, I just don't engage it because somebody being upset with. Me for using a black tag when I'm a black man is that's again that is a that's a you issue like I can't control who I am like I'm a firm proponent of if you dislike people based on something they have no control over that's a you issue because someone can't control being who they are being what they were born as or being what they identify as oh, someone who doesn't like hold it, up right there that's a yeah. them issue that's it right there stay. You see, the, there's, a, there's, a, it's, it's not women, it's woman. It's like solo the tag. Mm. Doesn't, doesn't that, doesn't that seem weird to you that it's just, it's woman, not women. Like, it's a solo thing. <laughs> even, even the description said for streams and content featuring women. I'm not saying like, I'm all, all I'm saying is it sounds weird to be like, I wonder what woman is up to. <laughs> I wonder what, like, what's. What's happening? I mean, in the I, I can understand what you're saying, but I feel like if, just like I might be wanting to go look to find somebody, like so many people are asking for so many tags that have so many issues, uh, with specific things. Like even right now, people in chat are saying like, "Oh well, DJ, how would you feel about me having a tag? Like you can have a tag that says you're black, but I can't have a tag because I'm white." And it's like I'm not the person who added the tags. <laughs> and really, if you go on the Twitch. Like with, I, I am not a racist human being, but if you can, like, and I know that that typically, if you say somebody if you say something like that, you're going to say something racist. No, uh, if you look at Twitch from the outside and you go into a category, you will not find an issue finding someone who is white. I don't feel like I'm I'm saying anything like that is like oh that's horrible. Like no, that's that's not a thing. And just like for those of you wondering, there is a man like, tag. Oh, there yeah, is. Like if someone says gotcha. so to that, it's like that's that's literally the point. As a black man, it is not very easy to find other people who are of color on Twitch. If I, if someone has the ability to identify themselves as a thing and they use that tag, that helps me find them. That's literally what the point of tags are, is to find people who are the thing that you're looking for. Mm. What is there to complain about? And, and the big thing... There's a woman in there, that. and, it's like, and, and it's like the woman and women like phrasing. They could just literally put a woman slash women. And then that, that solves that problem because it covers both. If there's multiple women on the, on the on the stream, it covers women. There's women featured, it covers that. But like, as hard as it is to find a person of color on the platform, if you really are hunting for specifically that, women are harder to find on Twitch if you are looking for women who are in a gaming category. So if you want to go sort and find women who are in a gaming category or you can add multiple tags, you want to find women of a specific group that you identify as or you, you just that's just what you want to watch. You can do that. And that just benefits everybody. Everybody has been clamoring for discoverability on Twitch. And this just gives Twitch another option to add more discoverability for people to identify themselves in a group. Everybody wins in this case. What is there to be upset about? And that's why I can't get why people are upset about it. It's like, it's, 
if so many people are upset about discoverability on Twitch, when Twitch adds options that you can put yourself into for people to hunt for, every, like, there's a win there. Yeah, that's, a, a that's the important thing, I think, DJ, that we that we need to emphasize is that this is all optional. You don't have to put any fucking tags you don't want to. Yeah, no one yeah. does. Um, the one thing I'm kind of like semi-worried about, because I was a fucking shitty person when I was a teenager, like a, uh, is, is just like tags putting targets, you know? They could just ban them. Right, like it, yeah. I, I literally. Yeah. Am I mean, that's yeah, of, of course. Where need be like, I, I, I'm ready and happy to do it to ban somebody for being stupid. Like, being stupid is a thing that is controlled by the self. You can Google the thing. True. Yeah. And, and the time it takes somebody to ask in chat, like, "Hey, how do I do this thing?" They could literally put that in Google and answer their question. But live chats and live conversations changes that. If somebody wants to be upset with me for being a black man on Twitch and using the black tag. Again, that's a them problem, and I just gonna get that ass banned, and I'm gonna continue doing what I was doing because I feel like the people who are making all the who, the people who are upset about these things, as has already been mentioned here, are not the people who even care or would use any of these things. So, what's the point of being mad about it if it not it's not something that you identify about? Yeah, Cole. it doesn't do any good. It just adds anger and frustration for nothing. There's so many more important things to deal with in life than that. That for me is just like. Eh. Come on, I know you were trying to jump in there multiple times. Fine, sorry. Okay. I, I just I went along. I, I went to talk about the light. My bad. It all got said. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Um, I learned what fu- futsal is. Futsal is a football game played on a hard court, smaller than a football pitch, and mainly indoors. So we can now stream futsal with the tag. <laughs> I did. That's a weird one to me. Uh, and a lot of these other ones, I've just, they've got a furry tag now. They've got a ton of different nationalities. Uh, there's a lot here. Uh, now Zeke. Is there a depression tag? Yes. I, I do remember that one being made fun of heavily, uh, on a what certain exactly forum. What exactly is the tag indicating? Yeah, let's see. Yeah, what, what, what is the wording, the wording behind it? While you're looking, I wonder if desperate people are <laughs> like desperate, lonely people will be using these tags as like a dating, like like they use on like Tinder or something. Like, hmm. yeah, I don't. I, I don't wonder know. if there's anybody else uh, that's uh, you know into the same thing I'm into oh. or or in the same way I am. Wait, is the depression tag for people that are suffering from depression, or their content is just super depressing to watch? I'm not sure. <laughs> I think I think the user can can answer that for you on on the stream um there's a couple oh, better pay that. attention to those tags if, if depending on the game i'm playing yeah the, there's definitely well, I was gonna some say, tags. like if i'm playing like a, a really tough game or something like, <laughs> if we're playing boshi it just automatically gets i can be pretty rough to watch man i'm not i'm not gonna be the first to say that <laughs> boshi streams should automatically just apply the depression tag no, it's, it's definitely like, I think some of these tags will unfortunately be used in a comical way. One of them being depression. I think people will most likely just throw that onto a stream. I think that'd be a great tag for like uh, Dr. K stuff. Yes. Like a lot of times, like he will that's, have that's very true. real conversations. I think they honestly should have, they really should have redone that, that tag description. Yeah. Maybe to make it a little bit more clear, as I think that's going to be one that's, that's going to be, you know, as we've already seen on on live stream fails and such, it's it's going to be the target of many um, uh, joking jibes. Jibes, we'll say. Um, but at the same time, it's like I, I think it's a it's a cool idea from a mental health perspective um, to make it so that you know if somebody actually is feeling depressed, they could use a tag to maybe find a stream that where they can see some stuff that could potentially help them. Possibly perfect use case of the depression tag. Soda popping, crazy slick, red shell. Bunch of wild streamers, Stardew. <laughs> yeah. Now, here's an interesting question. Twitch is putting out a lot of tags mm-hmm. where in the right, cir- wrong circumstances uh, could be used by some of the more drama or or uh, not well-minded members of Twitch uh, to be abused heavily. Mm. Um, saying perhaps using the wrong tags on purpose, you know, just to get a rise kind of thing. Did they announce anything that they're going to do to prevent that kind of stuff? 
no, in those? Are they gonna are they just gonna take a completely hands off approach to this tag system? Like put it all out there and and let stuff happen? Right here, uh, they, they approach it. Uh, our hope is that these new tags help every community, but especially those that are underrepresented grow and thrive. As with any means of discovery, there are bad actors who may use the ability to find streams for malicious purposes. User, users that utilize these tags as a means to harass those displaying the tags will be subject to enforcement of our hateful conduct and harassment policy in order to help protect against malicious behavior. We recommend uh, creators familiarize themselves with the available moderation tools, utilize moderators on their channels, and please report anyone who violates our community guidelines. I'm talking specifically about the flip side of what you just read. I'm talking about the casters. Oh, 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 I see what you're saying. Are um, they going to do anything if a streamer just blatantly uses the wrong tag or continues to or uses a tag meant for serious things as a complete joke? Um, like, it, is there anything? Are they going to do anything about that? I don't see My anything. guess is no. Because yeah. from what I understand, for a very long time, that was one of the reasons they didn't want to put some of these tags in. Because they they straight up said, like, what's going to happen if somebody, if a, if a big caster starts using one of these more specifically marginalized tags as a joke? And all of a sudden, there are people that are very angry at that large caster. Because it's like, like, like okay, I'm just going to be, I'm going to use a complete, complete fabrication here. A large caster, as a joke, starts using the tag autistic. He clearly is not somebody who's autistic. He starts using it in his in his channel tags for two weeks. And, and a large part of the autistic community is like, this is not cool. Like, is Twitch going to step in and do something about that? Did yep. they mention anything about that? Uh, not in the article. Uh, people in chat are saying that um, on a stream earlier this morning that happened, I think, like 30 minutes uh, before we went live, uh, that they said unless they actively use it in a malicious way, they will not act. And that there's also, uh, they are encouraging reporting of that channel if it is used improperly. Reporting? From a, from a user. Yeah, because users can report a channel for any, they didn't, you, so, you could report so, our channels right well, now. And could report a feed. channel for not using the proper tags and that's like an actionable offense? I guess so. I mean, I, I'll open up, let's open up Zeke stream right now. <laughs> <laughs> Take a look. Uh, now i think i do think that someone has to manually review these i don't think that there's a like automatic thing i've never actually looked at the report function uh so it says report uh what is the problem in a live stream in a whisper in a chat message he's not moderating the chat other content the username is inappropriate channel points somewhere else where did the problem happen on twitch on other site on the service in person at a twitch event uh, username is inappropriate. Profile content, emails or badges. The extensions are appropriate or malicious. The account is stolen or compromised. Maybe profile content. Uh, the title? Is there anything about a title? Account is stolen or compromised. They're breaking Twitch developers' agreement. Let's do profile content, I guess. Uh, feeling someone's personal information, threats, harm, hate speech, inappropriate or seen content. I'm concerned for their well being. Give me more options. Uh, attempt to scam, evading a block ban or suspension, impersonating someone underage. They're using copyright content. There's something else wrong with it, dot, dot, dot. And then tell us more. So I guess tell us and more is, is that? Somebody is, somebody in chat just said thing? a really a really um, interesting thing too. Uh, Melon Farm just brought up the point. He's like, and at that point, if a channel did get enough reports, you know, at what point, like, like, uh, like, let's just, again, use that tag. There's lots of other tags that can be used, but going on autism, autism is a massive spectrum. Mm. Like at that point, do you think Twitch would try to like disprove that that guy has like none of the affected things. Cause I mean, you can, you can look completely normal and still suffer from autism. I know many people that do, um, who act and who, who you would never guess unless they told you and explained what, what they go through. Yeah. So it's an interesting conversation, man. Like that's, and, and it makes me wonder if this is one of the reasons they've stayed away from it from this long. Cause the tax system has been out there for years, years. And they made a conscious decision not to put these types of tags on it for a long time. So it's, it's, it makes me also wonder what changed. So um, maybe, maybe the tide just gave, cause again, <clears throat> so many people have been requesting this kind of stuff, but it's interesting. Like this is, this is a, a, a lot of gray area to be introducing. Um, but I do think it's for the right reasons from the Twitch's benefit. Like, you know, I'll, I'll give them hell when I think it's deserved, but at the same time, this is something people have been asking for, for a really long time. So yeah. 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 Um, it is there. It'd be interesting. They, they do have it specifically for tags under uh, where's the problem in a live stream video or clip. 
Next, uh, the fourth one down is their content is misclassified, wrong category or tags. There you go. And then it has to tell us more after that. So then you can go in and, huh. and describe it. Yeah. Now, I don't know if that's always been there, that's if that was recently added or, or what. Like I said, I've never used. Oh, and Claire Louise brings up another good point. If someone were to use an autism tag on it, does that mean that they are the autistic themselves or are they happy to talk about it and are aware of it and had interest in it? Because they certainly, I mean, the LGBT, uh, the, 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 they had one with A at the end for ally. And it's like people that were not a part of that community could use that tag to say, Hey, I'm not one of these, but I'm certainly an ally and you're welcome here. And you're, and, and, and you're, you know, like it's, it's, it's perfectly great to be here. And we'd love to talk about it and you're welcome to. And it's kind of like in that situation, how does that work? No, no, it, it was, I'm sorry. Was it the plus that dictated a was for asexual? Was it the plus that dictated ally? I remember there was a tag that signified that you were also an ally when not actually in the group itself. I don't remember the exact tag. Maybe that was the wrong one. Uh, um, I am but, not sure about yeah. the specifics around it. Uh, I just feel like I paid attention well, the to the people who were in that community and their responses to people using the tag that if they are not in that community, and it seemed like people who were in the LGBTQIA community were not fans of people who are allies using the tag. So I did see that. Yeah. This is another situation where like, it's hard to even talk about it because you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't in any of it. So yeah, being the tags that I like to be, uh, I, I engage with the tags that I know that I am a part of and then I, I leave it uh, to Twitch and their moderation team if they want to get into moderating such a thing. But I feel like it's a, so much of tag usage is placed on the person who's using the tags that like, there's a lot of that that wouldn't apply to like a thing there's, there's a lot of that is not is not visual enough that is not obvious enough in a stream to where somebody would need to like mod and like no this does the stream doesn't apply to that i gotta do something about it right like so it's really difficult it's 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 a gray area it's really hard to try to moderate something that isn't blatant so it's a tough it's a tough situation to be in for anybody like, yeah. and, and so it's it's yeah. really hard to talk about moderating so for me that's why i've been quiet a lot of this because i don't i'm not in that community so i wouldn't use the tag but i have paid attention to the people who would use it and what their opinions are of it yeah the unfortunate thing of, of most of this is uh eventually someone will get an infraction against them for the use of a tag and then it's just gonna immediately spur up more drama Right. Like that's, that's, that's where the, the, uh, the conversation will go, um, in a lot of ways we'll see, uh, when, and if that happens, but more likely than not, it most likely will. Um, I, I did read somewhere and I'm curious if you guys heard the same or can verify, I think five tags is the max that you can have on your channel. Is that accurate? You guys know something like that. I'm, uh, I'm I think sure it's specifically. That. Yeah. Okay. I, I, well, I used to use like three regularly and it wouldn't let me put any more. Okay. I think that the, the games would generally apply like two to three on their own. Oh, and yep. those, those count as part of the five. I, I think there's like a, an amount. I think the game and stuff is there's an amount there and then you can apply another amount of your own tags on top. Okay. Yeah. At the very top of the tag that the, the list of tags, uh, stream tags are applied by the creators of their channel editors or channel creators of their channel or channel editors to streams up to five at a time. But some may also be only be applied to channels that meet qualifying conditions. So I think, that is answered okay. at the very top of the tags page. Yeah, yeah. Uh, someone says that uh, a streamer's live with eight right now, so those must be the automatic ones plus five uh, of his choosing. Um, yeah, and apparently Barry's saying there's already a user voice to get more tags um, allowed onto a onto a stream, which, yeah, I get. It makes sense. Um, cool. That's that. You know what? Uh, someone in my chat brought this up. Uh, the tag I would like to see... Um, would be a um recovery sobriety something like that that'd be cool for those yeah. looking for others to to you know hang out with maybe sure. chat about you know that shit <laughs> yeah i'm, I'm sure yeah, that i've been requesting a tag for over two years and it's now a joke between me and tom one of the project managers that they're just never going to put it in i literally and I asked him like once every three months for two years. And he told me like four times it was going in and it just never went in. It sounds like Tom. Interactive. 
What's his, uh, d- want, does he give you a reason why? He told me it was going to go in like four times. And then all these tags came out and I made a joke and I was like, so Tom about the interactive tag. And he said, Co, you're nothing if not persistent. I was like, not an answer, but okay. <laughs> I just wanted an interactive tag. I mean, <laughs> is, isn't, I guess I'm playing devil's advocate here or I am playing devil. Not, there's no guess. Uh, aren't, isn't the goal of most streams on Twitch to be interactive? Or... Absolutely not. A lot of uh, high-end sports players, a lot of a lot of podcasts, a lot of uh, competitions. There's there's literally thousands of streams on Twitch that have zero chat interaction. A lot of streamers just don't read their chat. So in that sense, would it be to add a non-interactive tag? <laughs> sure. <laughs> add both, I guess, at that point. Yeah. Yeah. I think you just want your tag. I think that's what all the, this is I just do. an ego <laughs> thing. That's really all it comes down to. It's just that's an ego all thing. It comes down to. I want, I want something and I want it. That's it. That's all it is. Mm-hmm. It's just an ego thing. That's it. <laughs> Did anyone see anything that's like uh, in my, in any of the chats, anyone see anything uh, tagged for like satire, comedy, whatever? Uh, like I didn't humor. Um, Mostly asking like if anybody had been perusing. There's, the there's an anything. improv tag. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, there's no comedy tag. There's stand-up comedy and there's improv. Comics. Uh, there is comics for the discussion of comic or comic books. Um, yeah, there, there's no. I don't think there's. I think stand. I, th- I think it's more the act of comedy rather than a comedian. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah, right. So right. They, right. They got around that. Yeah. I just. I mean, if we're if we're giving tags to everything, I, I would love a tag that just said like my stream isn't serious gaming. So like we're not like min maxing or anything. So chill and fucking take a joke. Is there a or funsy. <laughs> funsies. Uh, funsies. Yeah. For funsies. For funsies. <laughs> there is not a chill tag. There's not a fun tag. There's a funk tag. <laughs> Ooh. Um, Ooh, casual gaming go. tag is, is the closest one that I've seen. Yeah. Well, that would, yeah. That would casual that. playthrough. Yeah. yeah casual yeah. playthrough. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. That's I'm going to be using that frequently probably he'll never leave yeah it uh co can probably attest to this too uh for a while there i thought that like tags really didn't impact um discoverability on the platform at all and then i started using the um god damn it which one is it uh backseating welcome tag that tag for whatever reason gets so much traction on the platform yep a lot Uh, of people want to help yeah yeah, there's there's I see so many people almost every single stream like, oh, yeah, I found this from the, the backseating welcome. W- welcome. Also, tag. like, what are your rules? Whenever bigger games come out, the no spoilers tag. Yeah. Yeah, that one as well. That one as well. There's a lot. Uh, We're due for a break. I do want to jump in. There's not that much news this week. Uh, There's a smattering of small little bits of news, Um, but nothing super, super big. Uh, Bethesda's E3 2021 conference is going to be connected to Microsoft's E3 conference this year. Um, so that will be a very long conference, uh, <laughs> most likely. Um, we'll have to see what, uh, what they decide to do there. I think it was also rumored that the, uh, Microsoft conference this year will be on the 13th of June. Um, uh, but no details, uh, officially have come out for that yet. Um, so we'll wait and see where that goes. Um, another rumor is that there is a PS five exclusive, uh, final fantasy, uh, in the works from team Ninja, uh, which, uh, it goes on to basically say that it is, um, it's certainly souls inspired, but it's not exactly what you imagine when you hear soul like souls, like final fantasy from another rumor, uh, a person in the know, um, this all came from a French, uh, content creator, a French leaker. Um, so we'll see, but that all sounds cool to me. Um, we'll just have to, to wait and see what that actually means. Um, and what, uh, what it actually looks like. I would assume that this will show up at the, uh, the Square Enix E3, um, showcase conference, whatever they're calling it, or at someone else's conference. Um, so we'll, we'll wait and see with that. Uh, and then I think right before, uh, we went live like 10 minutes before we went live, uh, Blizzard announced that there will be no BlizzCon this year. Oh, that, um, that little indie company. Yes. That indie company. Uh, well, once indie company. Once indie. Yes. Once indie. Thank you. Uh, also thank you, DJ. Uh, <laughs> here for you. They did say, uh, 
That was, the, that was like the best delivery of good for you I've ever heard. That was very well done. I said uh, here for you. <laughs> Not good for you. That that would be rude. Here yeah. for you. Different though. Like I said, oh, here, here for, you. for you. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, glad, I didn't say I'm good for you. Like, good for you. I like, definitely took good. that as good for you. Go no, that yourself. is that would be the most dickish <laughs> move ever. And I appreciate you all. So I wouldn't just randomly yeah, good for you. Like, oh, no, that's great. Here that's for great. you. I think I need to enunciate more. <laughs> Yeesh. Oh, I love that. Uh I think where I don't know where it is. They also said that they would hold a smaller event. Where does it specifically say that? Uh, we won't to we won't want to let too long go before we connect with everyone again. So in the meantime, we're planning a global event for the early part of next year, combining an online show with the lines of a recent uh, BlizzCon line uh, with smaller in-person gatherings. We'll share more for our plans uh, when they come together. Do you think we ever see another? Like they're going to do more BlizzCons, right? Like that's BlizzCon has to continue be happening until it's safe enough Blizz to have lines. people in the same place. Yeah, I mean, it, 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 this is a reaction to COVID, not to Blizzard mm -hmm. as a company, right? Yeah, I would hope so. Yeah. Okay. I guess that makes sense. Are there any conventions that are happening at least in 2021? Like Comic Con was canceled, right? They said they were going to do it, and then I think they said they're not going to now. And like thanks Thanksgiving, Gen Con is apparently happening. When is Gen Con? That's not till fall, right? I thought so. Uh, Gen Con is September 16th through the 19th. Uh, badges are available now. And Dragon Con, when is that? Uh, Dragon Con is September 2nd through the 6th. So, what is PAX still happening? Do those have dates? I know they did PAX Online for East, so oh. they might do online for Prime as well. What in the fuck is that? Uh-oh. If you Google PAX, apparently PAX is a vaporizer. <laughs> they do not control the SEO for that anymore <laughs> on the Googles. Straight I learned what how SEO much the today. vaporizers <laughs> paid for that, because that had to be... It had to be very expensive. expensive. Yeah. Can you say what SEO means, uh, JP? Uh, search engine optimization, maybe? <clears throat> Thank you. I learned that today. I didn't know someone said that in my chat, and I had no idea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's a routing tag, too. What? Oh, you mean, <laughs> you mean in Twitch? There's a routing tag? Okay. All right. Keeping us uh, informed there. Uh, huh. <laughs> PAX says <laughs> September 3rd for PAX West. Can you buy? Registration is closed. Uh, more info coming soon for PAX South. PAX Unplugged is December 10th through the 12th in Philadelphia. See you next time for PAX East. PAX Australia is October 8th through the 10th in mm -hmm. Melbourne. And PAX Dev is see you next time. So I, I don't know if that means that they've already canceled it or they don't have a date for the next one or both or none of the above. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, that's all fact, the clue me into uh, the routing tag is probably for speedrunners. I didn't connect that. I thought it was some programming thing, to be honest. But that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, speedrunners finding routes for the fastest speedrun. Yep, cool. that makes sense. That makes sense. Very cool. Uh, it made me horrible because my immediate thought was that that was going to be somebody playing around with the router trying to get. You know, working. it's. I thought there, there was so some technical thing like that. Yep. Problem. Uh, that was all the news I had. Was there anything else big that you guys saw you want to mention before we jump into the uh, the break? I don't, it was kind of a slow week. Uh, the The top news on our games was Skyrim has now been out longer than the time between Morrowind and Skyrim. So that's where we're at uh, with the news. <laughs> right nice. it's, there's a lot going on, uh, obviously, clearly. There's a Black... Uh, oh, sorry, Back for Blood trailer uh, that was... Ooh cool uh the characters look pretty good in that oh um what's up get to the real news chivalry 2 beta tomorrow it's true 11 a.m what beta what beta? chivalry 2 chivalry 2 Ooh. till yeah. monday sunday night when does it when does it close co do you know the i only know the open uh, I, I think it's doing another weekend beta i'm not sure exactly when it closes but i think it's just the weekend okay cool the, the release is the 8th of june so it's it's right around the corner cool oh right uh this will be fun uh, in our never-ending MTX conversation. Did you hear about the new Nintendo thing? Uh, 
as it pertains to the Amiibo for the upcoming Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD remake. Uh, the only way that you can fast travel in that game, which is a functionality that did not exist in the original, is by buying an Amiibo. <laughs> does it have to be a specific Amiibo? It does. It has to be the Loftwing Amiibo. <laughs> Nintendo's going to make like 15 of those. Wait, and then nobody's going to be able to fast travel ever. Correct. <laughs> how much are those? About $20, oh. I think. Uh, amiibos are pretty expensive. Um, <laughs> I have a series of amiibos, and each one of them was at least $12. Some of them get more expensive, and Nintendo has never made enough of them. If if they're going to say that this specific amiibo has to be a thing in the game if you want to fast travel, that is... I feel like it was described previously as a physical microtransaction that is they're gonna have to produce a stupid amount of them because that is wild yeah uh amiibo, 25 dollar fast travel dlc yeah uh amiibo prices are physical originally fast travel dlc 15 dollars, but this one specifically <laughs> is 25 dollars that's oh my God. that's uh, that's you know even i can't oh, defend wait, that time out, time out. I can't you even can defend fast that. fast travel normally in the game. This just allows you to move to a specific point. So I think what it does, is it allows you to go from dungeon to the sky, then back from the sky to the dungeon. I think there is fast travel originally, but I think if you use the okay. amiibo, it allows you to go from like, yeah. Okay, that doesn't seem... That, I mean, that's still bad. It's still, that's it's still, still bad. Awful. Anything no. that saves you a bunch of time. It's completely that You then have to download. Yeah. Wow. That's, oh, man. Oh, yeah. Nintendo. What are you doing? I wonder if they're testing the waters with this, seeing how many, like, seeing how successful it'll be. Yeah. I think they've been testing the waters for a hot minute. Oh, for yeah. sure. Yeah. They've yeah. been at this for a while. Yeah. Yeah. Man. Is there a tag on Twitch and no amiibo runs? <laughs> get it. We need to get it. Get Tom on the case. Get him in here. I'll, I'll uh, you know, it, I've had great, great luck with him yeah, so far. Yeah, you, you've I'll, got a uh, great rep. <laughs> I, got, I got a real, I got a real rapport with Tom. Yeah, I'll uh, just hit him up. Yeah, I'll, I'll let him know. <laughs> I'll let him know. Yeah, yeah. I, I it'll be like this that. week, no question. That like, was one of those stories yeah. where it didn't have that okay. much traction because it was just like, what, like what the fuck, like what the fuck, amiibos unlocking in in game features, it just yeah that'll open up a whole brand new door uh for the next generation for sure for sure does jp know that blizzcon has been canceled yeah yeah we just talked about that yeah 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 that's that's what we were saying earlier right yep yeah okay yep you can see the the amount of care on my face yeah. <laughs> i'm very very distraught no, no pogging of any kind no no that that Zero small indie company seconds. saw its day okay they had their day in the sun not anymore. Not anymore. Let's take a break. I don't think there's anything else. Uh, it's slow week. Slow week. We're getting detail. Uh, Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart, the last bit, uh, is 33 gigs. Okay? 33 gigs, guys. Preload starts June 4th. The hottest news. Is PS5 exclusive? Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. I'm probably yeah, for which one? That. Yeah, for Ratchet, Ratchet and, Clank, and Clank Rift Apart. Yeah. Yeah, it's PS5 exclusive. Yeah. Yeah, it's rather small compared to the uh, it's it's average. It's fine. It's not that. Oh, yeah. Co like the, the UE5 stuff. Did you watch that on the JPNN? Uh, no, because that came, that was announced this morning. It, what was the news? That it that it's available? Is that I don't know. News? I heard it's like an early early something with it. Some kind of early Unreal program, Engine maybe. 5 yeah. is now in early yeah. access. There it is. Um, This is the... Oh, they put out a trailer with it. How? Oh, it's 15 minutes long. They go into the UI. They go into Nanite. It's very dev. Lumen, Sky Atmosphere System, the Quixel Bridge, Mega Assemblies, World Partitions, one file per actor, World Partition again, Data Layers, Full Body IK Solver. Is this doing stuff for you, DJ? Is this <laughs> Game Feature Plugins, Animation Motion Warping, control rigs full body ik plus control rig meta sounds and then of course ue5 early access yeah it's quite long it's 15 minutes. i mean all of it i'm a fan of because development is just it holds a special place in my heart but mostly because unreal just is responsible i feel like unity came up and just started doing a lot of numbers for games as well but unreal is like 
one of the largest third party publishing platforms like for game development like one of the biggest tools so to see the new versions of it is always awesome because we don't we don't care now like that just says like i don't care it's like we don't care now oh you'll care a few years yeah games are gonna start looking more awesome because of tools like unreal 5 like and it's we all benefit so yes please and thank you yeah i think uh, not only that isn't isn't this now with all the new licensing stuff that Epic's doing, where it's like if the game doesn't make a million dollars, they don't have to pay licensing fees or something. So, I mean, that's going to be great for actual indie developers um, yep. that are that are using the program. So that's going to be kind of great for sure, for sure. Yep. Yeah, that's a that's a deep. I'm watching five. Hands out is already though, but it's still awesome. Yeah, it's very deep dive video. That, that's a that's a mint for devs and and game creators, not not our simpleton brains. <laughs> I don't understand anything that's happening here. Anyways, let's take a break. We'll come back. Uh, I think we'll talk about a UE4 game, uh, Biomune, that uh, that came out this past week. Um, Zeke's been playing a bunch of stuff. We'll also jump into the... Oh, Jesus. Why do, Why is it that I always want to say <laughs> the the other game that's not <laughs> Elite that Dangerous? Dude. I, I want to talk about the not Elite Star Dangerous. Star Citizen? Yeah, I always go to like Star Citizen, and then I have to break down. It's not Star Citizen. Because massive dangerous. space game that yes. has a large community behind it. It makes yes. perfect sense to me. Those yes. are the two games that I'm streaming more than any other game on Twitch as well, so I can talk about either. Yeah. No, we're going to talk about Elite Dangerous. Yeah, I want to hear everything about Odyssey, man. Yeah, Odyssey like, uh, oh, okay. came out. I'm, I'm, we'll long story short, I'm loving yeah. it. Cool. But well, we'll talk about it more when we come back. Yay. Let's take a break. I'm wearing my Thargoid shirt in preparation for this. There you go. There you go. We'll be right back. More drop frames right after this. We'll see you guys soon. <laughs> 